Ready for High. I'm Hunter. And I'm Sean. Today is Wednesday, November 21st, and this is your morning news. Good morning, Buford High School. It's a great day to be an Eagle. I'm Miss Mitchell, and I'm in charge of testing this year, and I just want to address all juniors. Last week in, in advisory, you all received a form that looks something like this. On this form, you were to select which test that you want to take this spring, whether it be the ACT, the SAT, or you can opt out of taking any test. But I need these forms returned to me no later than the end of um, next week. Uh, I have to fill out something for the, for the district so that you can receive the, the test that you want. If I do not receive a test from, uh, or a paper back from you, then you will be um, assigned to take the ACT. So thank you so much for your help and your cooperation. Turn these forms into guidance or give them to me. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Attention seniors, the non-refundable deposit of $100 for Grad Bash is due today to reserve your spot. See Ms. T. Smith in room 2205 for more information. All students planning to participate in the field trip to the Dock Street Theater to see A Christmas Carol on December 5th must turn in a permission slip and payment receipt to Ms. Corbett as soon as possible. Payment may be made either to Ms. Gadley in the bookkeeper's office or online. What's up, Beaver High? After a long week, I'm back from the YIG conference. Let me tell you what happened to YIG. First of all, Stefan Wexler got his bill signed in by the governor in just the first two days. Great job, Stefan. Next, our lawyer team was the first ever Beaver High lawyer team to go all the way to the finals. That was my team. Good job, guys. That was Anna Thacker, Nick Mosier, Lindsey Bro, and Zoe Rogerson. Next up, Beaver High got premier delegation for four years in a row. Also, Zoe Rogerson got a scholarship for the full next year YIG conference. And that's the first time that anyone in YIG has ever gotten it four years in a row. Great job, everyone. So, Mr. Miller, can you tell us uh, what exactly is YIG? YIG stands for Youth in Government. Now, how many of you guys are tired of talking about government and not experiencing government? Youth in Government is that chance to understand youth in government from book learning, but actually experiences. This is a kinetic activity in which high school students participate at a conference where they create bills and get them passed by other high school students and actually get a court case, a trial case that has actually been occurring here in the state of South Carolina and actually get to present it from a prosecution and a defense side. All right, well thanks guys. What do you have to say to anyone considering to do YIG next year? Bro, um, it's a lot of fun. You should definitely come out So here. many hot girls. What do you have to say to anyone wanting to do YIG next year? It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, I definitely recommend it. FBLA is sponsoring a trip to see the Festival of Lights at the James Island County Park on Friday, December 14th. The Festival of Lights is a three-mile driving tour of more than two million lights. The cost is $25, which includes transportation and park entry fee, and is due by November 30th. Seats are limited, so act fast. See Ms. T. Smith in room 2205 for more information. Interact is sponsoring a crazy, ugly holiday sweater contest on Friday, December 7th. Students may purchase an armband from any Interactor or Mrs. Kid or Mrs. M&M for $1. Sweaters will be worn on December 7th with uniform bottoms. Students can nominate themselves or their friends by uploading their pictures to Google Classroom using the code on the screen. Prize will be awarded at the next Interact meeting on December 13th at 345 in the small auditorium. Your pictures will be displayed on the morning news throughout the week of December 10th. All proceeds will go to support our BHS families and local charities. Hey, b for High. I'm Austin, and this is your sports news. This week, we have limited teams in action. The varsity girls basketball team will be participating in the Somerville Holiday Tournament this weekend. When we return from break, the winter sports teams will be in full swing. Girls preseason soccer will be every Tuesday from 4.05 to 5.30 on the practice field, beginning November 27th. Soccer balls will not be needed for the first two days. Parent permission and physical paperwork must be submitted to Coach Baker and Coach Laos prior to practicing. That's your sports news. Go Eagles! Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of silence.
Thanks for watching. See you in the halls. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight.